A family of borrowers live under the little boards of the lair and watch the turtles in excitement of their laughter and how good of a family they are, even though they are different from the others on the surface. The little girl, age 10, is one to watch one of the brothers more than the others, and that's Donnie, the purple-clad turtle. She watches him make all his inventions and cool gadgets. He likes to make and even watches him clean the bust of himself, which she laughs about when he does because he always compliments it. Your name has no siblings to call their own and doesn't even have a pet. Well, how can a person as small as her have a pet? But she sees him makes jokes and even sees his sad and depressed side as he lays down for bed and she wishes she could comfort him like a real little sister would for an older brother or sister. But she can't herself for her parents' fear of something bad happening, even though they know that they wouldn't judge them based on how they looked, but still. One day, he came in sad as can be, and he hid his face on the floor and started to cry a little, but not too much. Your name, with her long hair, popped out her head out from the side to get a better look, and saw him there. She frowned, and wished she could tell him that it was okay but she had an idea. Running to her house and grabbing some of her flowers from the pot in her room, quickly came back and still saw him laying there, ran in front of him and put the flowers down and quickly gave his head a hug and ran back. Him, shocked by the sudden touch, raised his head and saw no one. Donnie wiped his face and saw the flowers on the floor and picked them up. He tilted his head in confusion, but nonetheless smiled at them and put them on his desk. Since then, every day, new flowers appeared on his desk, and each time he would try to see who it was, but to no avail. One night he stayed up to see who it was, and in his chair he faked being asleep, even snoring a bit to make it look more real. Suddenly, there was movement, and he cracked his eye open and saw a very, very small person putting new flowers on the desk with a note that would have a nice message on it. He gasped in shock, and she looked up with big eyes and all. She gasped too and quickly ran for it, but he yelled, wait, stop, I just wanna talk. He fell out of his chair and hit the floor. As he did so, and she stopped running, covering her mouth in horror and ran back to him. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. She started to tear up. Not your fault, just lost my balance on the chair. He huffed out. Who are you? And are you the one leaving flowers and notes every day? He asked, getting up and sitting back in the chair in front of the young girl. A nod. Yes, I am. I didn't think you'd see me, ever. But I only wanted to cheer you up. I promise. Not scare you, she said with big eyes. I'm not scared of you. After all, look at me, he said. I don't care what you look like, she said. He smiled. Then why would I care about what you look like, or how small you are?" he said matter-of-factly. I guess you have a point, she said. Why would you want to cheer me up? Don't get me wrong, it's working, but why? he asked. I just saw you sit there and cry, that sad look on your face, and I wanted to help you make you feel better like a little sister would for a big brother. They whispered that last part. Wait, you mean to tell me that this whole time you've been watching over me? I nod. Wow, you've been like an angel sent to watch over me almost. Wait, you saw me cry? Oh man, I'll never live this down. He hit his head on the desk and sighed loudly. I won't tell anyone. I won't say a word. Besides, I want to cheer you up not make you worse she said looking down and kicking some balled up paper off the desk she walked over and hugged his head and kissed it you're the best turtle ever please don't forget that she said softly with a smile and he couldn't help but smile back heh <laughs> thanks kid he held his head up and petted her head best he could glad i could help she smiled i'm your name by the way she giggled donnie he said with a, with a grin. She jumped when she heard his brothers come in the room with a scared look on her face. 
one person at a time was fine, but so many scared her after all. She was small and a child. Donnie leaned over where she was like he was blocking the view to her as his brothers ran in. Donnie, want to come skate with us? Dad fell asleep so we can stay up all stay up all night as long as we want, yelled the blue-clad turtle. Not with all the yelling you're doing, Donnie said back sarcastically. Donnie, buddy, what you leaning for? You okay? Asked his little brother Mikey. Huh? Oh, me... Uh, just thinking of some ideas for things, he chuckled nervously. You sure? Rap asked behind the others. Yeah, you go on ahead. I'll be in my headspace for a while, so you guys have fun, he said with a smile. Okay then, Leo said as he walked out with his brothers, and as soon as he, as he left, he got up and looked back at the girl in front of him. Loud at times, she laughed after shaking herself. Ah, uh, that's okay. Just not used to a room full of taller beans, she said giggling. Beans? He, he asked. It's what we call you tall beings. I am called borrowers, since we borrow things to live, she said. Just small things that you won't miss if they're gone, like sugar and soap, she said. Sorry for taking things, but, you know. She looked at him sadly. No, it's fine. You gotta live, so it's not a big deal. You said things we won't miss, and I haven't noticed anything missing, so you're doing a good job at that, too. You're good at cheering me up, kid. That is fair payment enough. He smiled for real, like he always did when reading the notes. I hope I can keep talking to you, though. He said. Her eyes widened. She nodded. Oh, of course. I want to make you feel better. I like seeing you happy and being funny, he gasped. See, I am the funny one. They both laughed in unison, and they both smiled as she giggled. For the rest of the time, your name would leave little notes and talk to Donnie at night when the others were sleeping. She one day met all of them, and even her mom and dad met all of them, and the brothers and the dad fell in love with the little family, and especially the little girl they called a sister. Donnie was okay with letting her borrow his heart for a little while.